Hello guys, this is Raven from DG Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 210. Qualcomm has supplied the chipset for the Pixel phones until now when Pixel 6 is going to change that. Qualcomm has lost a part of its revenue base even if it is a small compared to the other companies that uses Qualcomm chipsets. Realme came with a Realme GTX foldable concept phone that could be unveiled in the Mobile World Conference 2021 in Shanghai. Realme's next launch event is set for October 19th in China. The brand has confirmed five launches during this event. A new tip suggests that the launch of Realme Watch T1 and Realme Q3 is alongside with the Realme GT Neo 2T. Realme plans to launch an ultra premium flagship under the GT series with the 125W fast charging support. This upcoming device will support and Realme's own ultra dot fast charging system. The charging system is capable of charging a 4000mAh battery from 0 to 33% in just 3 minutes. The latest product from Anchor is a pair of smart glasses that offers the looks of the vintage pair of shades while also serving as open-ear wireless earbuds with dual speakers placed on each sides of the frame. Soundcore frames offer 5.5 hours playtime and comes with a dual microphone to handle incoming calls. They are IPX4 water resistance and comes with a built-in assistant for local media controls. Anchor's Soundcore frame retail for $200 and will be available from Anchor's website, Amazon and other partnering groups retailers. First sales are scheduled for mid-November and you can reserve your pair via Anchor's official site linked in the description. Electronic manufacturer Foxconn has been making efforts to enter the emerging electric vehicle market. The company recently announced the acquisition of Oyo factory of Embattled in the US, electric vehicle startup Lordstone Motors in a deal worth $230 million. US dollars. It has now emerged that the brand's first electric vehicle will be unveiled in a few days' time, precisely on October 18th. Hyundai Motor is the latest automaker to plans to develop its own semiconductor chips in order to reduce relying on chip makers. As car sales fell during the pandemic, automakers paused their orders just as electronic manufacturers began wrapping up of production and snapping up the existing supplies of chips to meet the raised demands in laptops and gaming consoles. When consumers started buying vehicles again, automakers were met with a global semiconductor shortage that has led to most OEMs apart from Tesla and Toyota. Apple Watch Series 8 is tipped to get a new third model with a bigger display in 2022. The Watch Series 7 this year is available in 41mm and 45mm sizes. Apple Watch Series 8 is set to get new health management features such as the ability to monitor body temperature. Earlier today, Oppo announced that it has partnered with the various automobile brands like BYD Auto, Tesla and others to bring car controls to its Watch 2 series of smartwatches. Functions like NFC car keys, remotely turning on the car's air conditioner, opening up the truck and even checking the remaining mileage of the vehicle can be done through Oppo Watch 2 users. BYD recently released an update for its car application as it added an NFC wearable car control function. OnePlus has teased the upcoming Harry Potter inspired OnePlus watch on its Indian Twitter handle. The OnePlus watch Harry Potter edition launch date is yet to be revealed. This smartwatch will come with a Harry Potter themed straps, watch faces and many more. Laptop maker Dell is refreshing its rugged laptops portfolio sold under the Latitude line. The company announced the Dell Latitude 5430 rugged and the Dell Latitude 7330 rugged extreme in India. These two devices are meant to be used in extreme conditions such as military constructions and many more. Especially they can survive more wear and tear than regular laptops and are designed with special kinds of resistant of dust, water and other possible environmental concerns. These two laptops will be available from December 9th. Popular action RPG Genshin Impact today released version 2.2 update for iOS. This update bought a new character as well as an additional event, series and gameplay content. However, the things we are interested in the most is an option for 120 frames per second. This makes Apple's devices the first to have a frame rate option above 60 frames per second in the game. That's because while Genshin Impact is available on a variety of platforms, including Android, PlayStation and the PCs, all of those are limited to 60 FPS which is actually limited to just 30 fps. IQ Z5 X launch date is now confirmed. Today IQ took to its Weibo account to reveal that it will be unleashing its Z5 X on October 20th. The launch date poster released by company gives a good look at its design.
In a recent interview with the Hollywood Reporter, the online video streaming platform's vice president for the Asia Pacific content, Min Young Kim, talked about the possibility of turning the explosively successful series Squid Game into the video game. As of right now, the second season for the South Korean series is currently in talks to start as well. The senior official of Netflix has confirmed that the company is looking into the possibility. The news of the series being turned into a video game arrives as the show saw massive success across the globe. The Nokia XR20 India launch has been confirmed by the company. The pre-booking will begin in the country on October 20th. The key specifications include a 6.67-inch Full HD Plus display, Snapdragon 480 chipset, 48 megapixel primary camera, and Android 11 OS. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.